Yes, good morning. This is Stephanie Kaspersky. I'm um, one of the coordinators here at the Center for Fetal Diagnosis and Treatment. I understand that you have some questions. Before a family even arrives, we have reviewed their prenatal records and have set up a comprehensive evaluation that will occur in one day so that by the end of the day, they'll have the answers they need um, to make the best decision they can for their pregnancy. You want answers, and you want answers right away <laughs> um, so that you can start feeling like you have you know a handle on the situation. The diagnosis can be tricky particularly in the early to mid gestation. Misdiagnosis can occur with uh, any fetal diagnosis and because of that whenever we refer to patient uh, we always reevaluate that patient with our own imaging. Which includes uh, maternal fetal ultrasound, very detailed, uh, looking at the characteristics of the teratoma and also to make certain that there is nothing else wrong. An ultrafast fetal MRI which is another way of getting anatomic information and the third crucial test is a fetal echocardiogram, a look at the fetal heart just to look at fetal heart performance in particular. It was actually strangely comforting and meditative going through the tests because you felt like this process was starting to happen and that at the end of the day you were going to know something. We think it's extremely important for the mother to have at least the ultrasound, the MRI, and the echocardiogram done in one day, one after the next, uh, meet with our genetic counselors, our advanced practice nurses, uh, have some financial counseling if need be, and then to meet with the team at the end of the day so we can review the findings and go through our recommendations. No one was going to tell me everything's going to be all right because they couldn't tell me that. And no one was going to say this is how we think the teratome was going to grow because they couldn't tell me that. They could say this is how we hope it's going to be and we're going to keep monitoring it and if it continues in this vein this is what will probably happen. But. Um, you know, at that point in time, there were a lot of ifs and a lot of question marks. A major focus of our program is to provide education of families. My questions were answered, and I felt like we could move forward and start making decisions. And I also felt like I needed to hear a very sobering diagnosis, and I needed to hear what could happen. It's very important to us that families leave here knowing what their diagnosis is and how best to take care of them the rest of the pregnancy.